So let's talk about the truth and the origin behind Easter Sunday. Because Easter Sunday is the day that millions of Christians go to church to pay homage to their Lord and Savior's resurrection, so to speak. But, however, in this video, I'm going to break down that fallacy, and I'm going to show how millions of them are just really participating in old pagan customs. First things up is the common sense question. If you die on a certain day, how can your date of death change every year? Pause the screen to look at the different date of Easter. Now that alone should make you question a lot of things about this so-called holiday. But let's read how Easter was adopted into Christianity. In 312, the Emperor Constantine converted to Christianity and put an end to the ongoing persecution of Christians. However, he knew that just because he had converted, it didn't mean that pagans would stop following their rituals and traditions. So he slowly started to adopt pagan rituals into Christian festivities. In 325 AD, the church council, known as the Council of Nicaea, first decided that Easter celebration should fall on the Sunday after the first full moon of the spring equinox. So let's fact check that. And the spring equinox was on March 20th, 2023, and the first full moon was on April 6th, and today is the 9th, so that adds up. And thus, Easter Sunday was born, and symbols associated with nature's rebirth and renewal came to be associated with the rebirth or resurrection of Christ. So where does Easter get its name from? In English-speaking countries like England, Easter took its name from the pagan goddess Eostre, the goddess of spring and fertility. Now let's talk about where this damn Easter bunny and these Easter eggs come from. Now pay attention. Eggs are a symbol of new life and rebirth, just as nature returns to life after the cold of winter or Jesus is resurrected after the crucifixion. Are you getting the symbolism yet? Now let's talk about the rabbit. Now the eggs may make sense, but how did a rabbit come into all of this? This symbolism can be especially strange when you consider the fact that rabbits don't even lay eggs. But it all ties back to the concept of fertility, rebirth, and renewal as celebrated by the pagans. The sacred symbol of the goddess Eostre was a hare, and rabbits have long been considered as a symbol of fertility due to their ability to reproduce quickly and in large numbers. Now, I'm going to build on that, but before I do that, let's look up the definition of allegory. So allegory is defined as figurative treatment of an unmentioned subject under the guise of another similar to it in some way. It's also the description of one thing under the image of another. Keep that in mind. The expression by means of symbolic fictional figures and action of truth or generalizations about human existence, a symbolic representation. Now check this out. Book reference, a dictionary of symbols. Under the definition of fecundity, we have this symbol. That looks familiar? In allegories, fecundity is usually represented by the poppy plant because of its prodigious numbers of seeds, but is also symbolized by a grain of barley and by the bull, the hare, and the rabbit. The symbol of fecundity of sacrifice, the cross that bears fruit. And that's the pagan origins of Easter. 